the most successful families are the ones that work together to achieve their goals. Of course, even the best-run households have the occasional kink or two to work out. But the truth is that no matter how well things seem to come together in a family, appearances can be deceiving. And when it comes to friends and neighbors, Appearances often have precious little to do with the reality of what's going on she... behind closed doors. Why does she have binoculars, creepy bat? Oh god, that look! Okay, what am I supposed to do? Let me make breakfast. Make recipe. Oh no, I don't want to talk to him. Fine, open door. <sighs> Spoiling everything. Hello there. We just wanted to stop by and welcome you to the neighborhood. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's kind of the way I'm feeling. I wanted to make a breakfast for everyone. A breakfast. How kind of you to stop by. It's such a nice day to meet new people, don't you think? Oh, God. Oh, absolutely. I'm Daniel, and this is my twin brother, Frank. We just like getting to know our new neighbors, don't we, Frank? Of course we do. So when, you t when you're not meeting neighbors, what do the two of you do? How nice! So what do the two of you do? Oh, well, I made my fortune, if you could call it that, in the fashion industry. Perhaps you've heard of me, Daniel Fox? Oh, of course! Who hasn't heard of you? Clever like a fox, right? I'm sorry, but I don't think I've ever heard that name before. Well, it's nice to see that someone around here has good taste. You wouldn't believe what I saw that Edie Brick character stepping out of the house in just the other day. And Frank, was it? Do you work in the fashion industry as well? So, do you have a job, Frank, or are you more of a live-in moocher type? Oh, that's terrible. Actually, I run my own business. Maybe you should show her what you do. Frank is starting up an internet-based networking company. He can set up the computers in your home for you. For free, of course. That is assuming that it's alright with you. Is it? You can set whatever you can set up whatever you want to as long as I don't have to pay for it. Well, seeing as how you said my favorite word, free, sure, go ahead. How generous of you to offer to help me out. I'd really appreciate it. That's a little bit more sympathetic. Okay, there's one right over there. I'll start with that one. Okay, well then go. They walk so slowly. So, now that Frank's off working his magic, we can chat a little bit until he finishes. Oh boy. What do you think of your new neighbors? They're all right, I suppose. They all seem like nice enough people. Mm-hmm. Listen, sweetie. Let me tell you something about our little neighborhood. You will never die of boredom. There is always something going on. You know, I thought it seemed a little too quiet around here. Really, it seems like such a quiet place. I sure hope you're right, because things are looking pretty dull right now. Um... That facade will quickly fade, trust me. Within a week, you'll have plenty of stories to tell oh me. Really? Alright, give me the scoop on everyone. Like, what? Oh, there's so much to tell, too little time. Well, did you notice how Susan Mayer was acting this afternoon? She was running around like a chicken with its head cut off, flipping over chairs in her backyard and on the porch. She seemed pretty freaked out. She must have lost something important. I'm sure it's nothing. Susan seems to have her head on straight. All right, I'm all done with that one. Are there any others you need set up? You should head over to my son's room next. If he finds out his computer isn't hooked to the network, I'll never hear the end of it. You know how teenage boys can get. His room is just upstairs. You can't miss it. Yeah, Frank can be a little coarse at times, but he means well, so you get used to it after a while. Oh, I didn't really notice. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but I noticed that. He didn't really seem all that bad. Um, what was this one? This one. He was in the military so long, I think he got used to barking orders at people. Interesting, I couldn't tell. After he finished his service, he landed a job in the city, but... 
He wasn't happy there. So we decided to get a place together out here in the suburbs. There must be a great story behind why you made the move to Wisteria, Wisteria, Wisteria Lane. And let me guess, you wanted some downtime away from all the beautiful people you met in the big city. Well, that explains why Frank's here. Now, how about you? Um... There's no special reason for why I'm here, really. Sorry to disappoint you. I guess you could say I just needed to take a break from the fashion industry. It was like a big party that never stopped. But sometimes, you really need it to stop. It must be a lot of fun, though. You get to meet all the supermodels and hang out with the best restaurants, or at the best restaurants. Having all those models around you all day isn't exactly a rough life, is it? Yes. It did get awfully hectic at times. Awkward pause. It looks like your sun system is already set up. Oh, is it? I guess I'm not surprised. He's good with computers in that way. And that system of his is top of the line. Dual processors, two gigs of RAM, the works. To be honest, I think it's just a waste of money. It's just a computer. It's not like doing the laundry or driving you to work or anything. Oh, that's rude. Funny, that sounds like something he would say. You computer people all seem to speak a different language. Whenever I ask why he's always spending money on it, he tells me computers are all about performance. You have to spend money to get it. Um, that's the one that seems the less bitchy. Oh, is that oh, so? Oh shit, apparently I didn't say the right thing. I've set up the browser for you with a tutorial and a bookmarked homepage. When you start the browser for the first time, you'll be directed through the tutorial. If you're already familiar with the internet, it should be like riding a bike. But give the tutorial a shot anyhow. To skip the tutorial, just click the skip tutorial button. And that's that. You're all set up. Thank you all so much. You're a doll. Well, if anything goes wrong, I guess I know who to blame. You, you're welcome. Well, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you. Exit. Are they already gone, or can I make breakfast for them? I can't tell if they're all gone or not. No, I don't want to wash my hands. I want to go up the... God damn it, I want to go up the stairs. Use stairs. Is anyone home? I want to cook. No one here? Look at his room. Online poker? Oh shit, I suck at poker. And we're gonna need to play poker at some time. Um, what to do, what to do? Well, um, I pretty much started well, I suppose. Can I upgrade? How much does it cost to upgrade? Um, should I spend all the money on it? Would that be really terrible? The most expensive one is probably the best one to get. Um, let's start with the downstairs first. Let's upgrade downstairs stuff. Why do we have two- why do we have three bedrooms? Who's the third person living in our house? Whatever. Okay, so, um... Let's move you over here. Um, let's see. Couch, let's upgrade. $22.50. Yeah, softer than silk. Oh, yeah. Upgrade. $1,800. Alright, well, I don't have much money left. Sorry, honey. Um... How did I do with this? A minus? Um, I'm down with that. Let me make a meal really quickly and then I'll um, sign off for the day. Um, why would you go all the way around? God, she's so stupid. Um, I'm really hoping this is going to go well. I really hope I found a way to actually make this work and it won't cut off like it has before because I'll be really sad and disappointed and I'm pretty sure everyone else will be too. Okay, preheat oven to 350, add butter to bowl, add ground beef, breadcrumbs, okay. Um, 350, why is it going so slowly? God damn it, I'm gonna spend all my fucking time with this shit. This isn't gonna be that bad, actually. Hopefully I'll make it in time. 
Okay, put that in. It gets really tough later on. Like, it's really tough to make it to an A. Boom, baby! Yeah, A plus, what up? Um, quit. Does it keep my time though? Yes. Cook recipe, apprentice. Yeah, that's right. I kind of want to try the fruit salad again. I really hate that I can't cut a fucking banana right. Fuck. Alright, let's retry because that was terrible. I'm gonna cut this banana perfect, goddammit. Good enough, I don't give a shit. As long as it was like, okay, and not like, oh, that was shitty. That's all that matters to me. I really wonder what kind of yogurt she uses. Now I kind of want to try making a fruit salad like this. I suck at cooking. How'd I do? Woo! A plus! All up in the his house. What's up? Alright, um... What's on my task list? Um, I get to try my computer and then I help Susan or something. Alright, well, for the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and log off. Um... I'm going to go ahead and um, get some sleep because it's almost 2 in the morning right now. And I have work tomorrow. So thanks guys for joining in. I hope you guys are going to be enjoying this walkthrough of Desperate Housewives. Please like my video if you just so happen to enjoy my commentary and weirdness with this game. Um, got a Facebook, got a Twitter. You can follow those if you want. And yeah, I'll keep you updated and... Um, Join me next time. Thank you. Bye.